right, today's video lesson is going to be about creating a good clarinet tone. Tone is really important when playing the clarinet, and you always want to produce a really clear sound, meaning not super fuzzy or airy. Having said that, what I mean is some kind of sound other than the actual note, like a shh or sound. In order to achieve a really good sound, you always want to make sure that you have a really good reed, that it's not broken or chipped at the top, and that you always perfectly align it on your mouthpiece. Just right in the center, making sure the tip of the reed is in line with the tip of the mouthpiece, but don't actually touch the tip with your fingers. Um, on top of that, you need to make sure you're taking deep breaths so you can give the clarinet all the air support that it needs. And in order to practice a good tone, the best thing to do is to practice something like long tones. First I'm going to play a few notes to get started. I always love to start with the note open G, which is no fingers. squeak so I'm actually going to make sure my reed is on perfectly. Let's see if I can avoid that later. Also make sure to wet your reed before you start. to practice having a really good tone, like I said, is with air support and also with long tones. And there's plenty of different long tones out there to warm up on, but let's practice the C major scale today. C major scale is also known as concert B flat if you're playing in an orchestra, and it's going to start on R, C, okay? It has no sharps or flats, so we're going to start on C. And usually what I like to do is put a metronome on. In this case, I have an app on my phone. I'll turn that on. I like to put the metronome on at 60. Nice and slow. Let's start out with playing whole notes on each note of the C major scale. Four counts for each note, that means. Turn my metronome on. You can even practice breathing in for four counts. Into your lungs and filling up your stomach with air. And let's see if possible if we can at least get two whole notes before we take a breath. Or once you get better at it, the goal would be to play four whole notes in a row. Mm. When playing the C major scale, which is a great one to practice, we have to go over the break, it's called, meaning that after we play open G and A, which are throat tones, then we have to put all of our fingers down and add the register key on the back. That's called going over the break. And on the clarinet, that's one of the more challenging areas. So I always like to recommend when you're going from A to B, to make sure you blow a little extra air. B is a difficult note, it's over the break, and it requires a little extra air, making sure your fingers are pushing down firmly on your pinkies, especially, and covering all the holes. So in other words, I'll show you A and then B.
giving lots of air in between those notes. And you might also want to play the scale a second octave. So I'm going to turn my metronome back on and I'm going to go up one more octave. Is blowing lots of air and playing with a really full sound so that way you can really work on producing a beautiful tone. The full sound means you're going to be giving it enough air to hopefully do so. And just to remind you, the notes of the scale start on C, after that comes D, and then E, F, which is the back thumb hole, open G, A, going over the break to B, after that C. And the second octave of this scale is a little easier. It goes from C to high C and all you do is lift up one finger at a time. So if we're at this C right here, which is the third space on the staff, so we go C, lift up one finger D, lift up another E, lift up one more F, another finger G, lift up another finger A, one more finger B and the last one high C. Okay. Um, after you've maybe gone up and down the scale playing whole notes, another thing you could do is half notes. Let's say you don't have enough time for whole notes. Half notes are still really a great way to warm up on the scale. So this time, again, I'm going to put my metronome on at quarter note equals 60. I'm going to demonstrate one more time playing half notes and I'm going to go up and down the scale, breathing when necessary, but trying to push myself forward to get as many notes as I can in one breath. That's a really great way, like I said, with the long tones. And another thing to keep in mind is to make sure your chin is up a bit. I always have to remind myself that. And also to keep the corners of your mouth tight. I always like to make a fish face. And that helps me activate those corners in the muscles of my mouth and know exactly what I need to kind of tighten around the sides. That'll help air from escaping outside and going into your clarinet instead. And once you've practiced the scale with the long tones, then you can speed it up a little bit in order to play a scale routine. Scales are also really important in music, and it's really great if you can learn all 12 scales eventually. There's a total of 12 major scales, and that'll really help you to be able to read music better and play in lots of different keys. So now that I've warmed up on the C major scale, I'm going to go ahead and play a scale routine. And a scale routine usually involves a slightly longer tonic note, meaning the first note of the scale, and whenever that note repeats itself, and a little bit faster on the others. Usually I like to do some kind of pattern like a half note followed by quarters. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> Once you've done that, you could also practice it two octaves. And if you want, you can add an arpeggio to the scale. In this case, the notes of the arpeggio are C, E, and G and they keep repeating themselves. And once you practice it a lot of times, then you can go even faster and maybe slur it if you want. That's it. Have fun practicing.